What's going on everyone? I'm Logan, the 64th Gear Jammer Skill, and I thought it would be fun to take a field trip to see one of the most modern fire departments in the Midwest. Later in the video, I'm going to review a Code 3 replica of one of their famous trucks. First, let's start with the history of Hoffman Estates. Until the 1950s, Schaumburg Township in Illinois remained a rural farming community. The Schaumburg Township population was 1,080 in 1950. And Elgin, Illinois was the major economic center. 1954 proved to be at the landmark in township history. A local farmer sold his 160 acre farm to Sam and Jack Hoffman, owners of the Father and Son Construction Company. They sold it for a subdivision in Cook County. The first homeowners began to move into the new subdivision in late 1955. On September 19, 1959, the residents voted to incorporate as the village of Hoffman Estates. Recognizing the rapid growth and the need for a fire department, a volunteer fire department was formed in December of 1956. With each homeowner contributing $25 toward the purchase of a small pumper. Today, the village of Hoffman Estates is recognized as one of the premier communities in the state of Illinois. The village covers 19.9 square miles and is the home of a number of regional and national corporations, most notably Ameritech and Siemens Medical Systems. The Hoffman Estates has one of the most modern fire departments in Illinois. The department provides firefighting, rescue, and medical services to the village's 48,000 residents and business community through its four stations. The stations are staffed by three battalion chiefs, three captains, 12 lieutenants, and 69 firefighter paramedics. Administrative support for the department consists of four chief officers, three fire inspectors, and a secretarial staff of three people. The department fleet of apparatus consists of the following four advanced life support ALS engine companies, two reserve engine companies, one 100 foot aerial platform truck company, one 105 foot reserve ladder truck, one heavy rescue squad, three ALS ambulance companies, one reserve ambulance company, one special operations rescue unit and boat, one special operations support trailer and tow vehicle, and nine command and staff cars. That's an impressive department for a village of less than 50,000 people. I can see why they are considered the finest department in Illinois. Now, let's talk about a Code 3 replica of one of their retired trucks, the Pierce Platform Ladder Truck 22 that was stationed at Hoffman Estates Fire Station 22. And this is the Pierce Dash Rear Mount 100 Foot Tower Ladder Truck for Hoffman Estates. It is truck company number 22. It is a 164 scale die cast model made by Code 3 back in 2001. This is a great piece that Code 3 made honoring this wonderful department. I'll bring it up this way so we can see it a whole lot closer. 
It has soft rubber tires sitting on chrome tin hole wheels, uh, duals on both rear axles. It has the stabilizers, but they do not come down here. They don't come down, neither one. They are just fixed in the up position and molded that way. It is a die cast body. It has a die cast chassis. The ladder though, and the whole ladder piece is all plastic, but that's all right. It still works. It has the Hoffman Estates graphics on the ladder. Pierce Ariel right there. Logo, it's got the Pierce up on the bucket and it's got the 100 for 100 foot. They also put, if you can see them, two little shamrocks right there beside the 100 foot underneath the Pierce. On the door, it has the uh, fire department shield. On the second door, it's got truck 22. Now the doors don't open, but it does have a detailed interior. Back here on all the pump controls, it has little gauges and valves, levers, all the works there. And then it has some uh, flatbed hose. It's just plastic molded in place and then painted yellow, but there's the holes that they would pull out. None of these toolbox doors here open, but they do have little chrome latches that are individual pieces put in. Pretty cool how they did that. And they go up on all doors. They've also got marker lights, and on each of these uh, stabilizers, there's a flashing light, and it's red on this truck. Coming a little further back, there's the ladder, grab bar, and another grab bar so that you can climb up and get up onto the platform to run the ladder. On this side, you can see there is the controls for the ladder, the control box, and uh, engine, a fireman would stand there and control the ladder. And coming a little further, you can see there is all the ladder. Now I'm gonna extend this and show you because it does fully extend and it raises and lowers and there is the piston where it raises up and down. There's one on each side. There's also a little uh, siren right there or light of some kind. Actually, it's a floodlight right there so you can see very easily. The back, chrome diamond plate here, a walkway here, catwalk bumper, which is common on fire trucks, some uh, reflective striping, truck company 22 logos right there, brake lights, turn signals, and some flashing lights. Also a danger warning light. There's also two rotator beacon lights right there and there. It has another ladder so you can climb up right there up onto the platform. Hand grab, grab bar, more stabilizers that don't come down. They're just fixed in place. They had to make some sacrifices to keep the prices down on these trucks to a very, very reasonable price. And that's what they did in making some parts non-functional, but they still made the ladder fully functional. It raises, it lowers, and it pivots. You can also see the toolbox doors and all the compartment doors have the same little chrome pieces so that it looks like they have chrome latches that would open. Really nice. Another Pierce Aerial logo. There's the other piston uh, tanks there. Hoffman Estates logo up on the ladder. They were really proud of their name up there. They made it big so everybody could see it. Dial 911 graphics. More pump panel controls and gauges here. And there's the other side of the uh, flat hose beds and the flat hoses. Truck Company 22 right here. The door latches also individual chrome pieces there's a little silver trim that goes around the um, fenders on the wheels soft rubber tires with um, chrome rims the shield on the door hard plastic windows all around and the interior also it's got really nice mirrors up a little there's another ladder right there and there's an air conditioning unit to keep the cab cool and rotating lights right there. And as I said, this truck is old. It came out back in 2001. Platform tilts, 
there's a monitor right here which would be uh, remote controlled truck company 22 and Hoffman Estates fire shield there raise her up so that we can see the cab and there's the cab Hoffman Estates written above it individual windshield wipers that are paint molded in black and then the mirrors which are molded in hard ABS plastic and then chrome plated bumper is chrome plated and then there's the siren mounted on the bumper there's also diamond plate there a really nice uh, chrome with black paint on it for the grill individual jewel style headlights and flashing and turn signals really nice also up top there's two little chrome uh, beacons up on the roof take a quick peek underneath because there's not much detail here you can see the tires not gr super great tread but it's good enough uh, spring suspension and that's basically it here it says code 3 collectibles 1999 made in China and the 1999 is because that's when they made this tooling and it's pretty easy to take off just a couple of screws and it would come apart but it does have a decent amount now we'll flip him up here and go to the boom. There you can see there's controls to run the ladder right there in the platform bucket where the fireman would work. There's your controls. There's some work lights there so you can see also some more lights up front. And then there's the top of that monitor so they could really pour water out and take care of things. lots of diamond plate decking here ladder and then it has lots of chrome on the handrails really really cool now let's go on and set this guy down and extend the ladder to show you hopefully we have enough room gotta go way back so you can see it there it is all extended <laughs> that's right there is the top of the bucket that's how far that ladder will reach it will actually go a little bit higher but you're gonna lose its ability to see the end of the bucket but I'll raise it all the way up that would be vertical or that would be more the way they would use it to uh, in working bring the bucket in bring the ladder in a little so you can actually see it Now, another thing about this ladder, it does pivot, as you can see right there. So now you can see the thing would pivot, I believe, 180 degrees. It will go all the way around. Now, of course, on the real truck, they'd have the stabilizers down, but they, on this particular model, didn't include the stabilizers. So we do what we can do. And there it is. Now you can see there is the ladder right there. Now, guys, that is the Pierce Dash Aerial 100 foot rear mount ladder truck for Hoffman Estates. It's truck company number 22 out of station 22 in the village of Hoffman Estates, Illinois. 164 scale die cast model by Code 3 Collectibles. It was made back in 2001 and has long since sold out, but these would be a great model for your collection if you could find them on the secondary market. They've also made several other trucks for the Hoffman Estate, so you could actually build a, a big department for this one company. What did you think of the model of the Hoffman Estate's Truck 22 that Code 3 Replicas replicated? Also, what did you think of the Hoffman Estates Fire Department? Let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments below. Code 3 Collectibles made the finest 164 scale fire trucks and ambulances while they were in business. Since they have shuttered their doors, the value of these trucks has gone up considerably due to the lack of new supply and pretty good demand. 
Secondary markets are a great way to recover the investment you have made in your collection once the items have become scarce or non-existent. To help you with finding items that are going to go up, please grab my free resource on tips for valuing your collection with the link in the description below. And as always, please smash that like button, share this video with your followers, drop your comments, and subscribe to my channel for more great product reviews and histories of the real machines, departments, or companies. Thanks for watching. I'm Logan, the 64th Gear Jammer Skill, and I'm going to go back and hang out a while longer with the guys in the department. But don't worry, I'll be back soon with another episode of Toy Talk. Confirmed, rep 43.